the final event of the 2022 autocross season got pushed into early December. I'm back at the fairgrounds, it's 42 degrees and overcast, and that frustrating figure eight is frigid. My 2000 GT is up against eight other drivers in Cam T, but I'm only worried about one driver, the guy who's ahead of me in the season standings. Unfortunately, I have some serious obstacles to overcome. My 315 Rival S tires aren't very good in cold weather. My main competitor's tires aren't as bad in the cold, and he's one of the best drivers I know. All I can do is focus on finding speed. I have to get the most out of whatever grip I have, manage the different amount of grip between the front and rear tires, and hope my 315s get close to their happy place before my final run. I've softened my front struts from 2 to 1, raised my first run tire setting to 30 PSI, and lowered my aggression level. My tires felt like hard plastic. I had no grip and zero confidence in the car. The attack strategy for this course is simple, but cold tires create complications. There's a 180 degree turn that's going to be a problem all day. It's a painfully slow element that requires patience. There's a big reward for getting on the gas as early as possible exiting the 180. Unfortunately, applying even a little throttle as I was unwinding the wheel led to going sideways. The correction required me to slow down, and because there's no grip, I couldn't be aggressive on the throttle to get back up to speed heading into the fast elements after the 180. Linking these elements together and looking ahead will allow me to attack this section, but even relatively small changes in direction are difficult on cold tires. At full attack, I'll have to adjust my speed to enter the first sweeper. The first sweeper entry is pretty fast, but I have to watch out for understeer until I get enough heat in my tires. I expect to be chasing the front end on all of my runs today. The first sweeper is fast out. If I can keep the car composed through the first part of the sweeper and run the correct line, I should be able to start rolling on the throttle midway through. But I have to avoid going sideways coming out of the sweeper. If I tackle the first sweeper the right way, I can attack the fast elements after the sweeper. The best protection against losing time here is to be early with my steering inputs and match my aggression level to the amount of grip I have. I also need to look ahead because this fast section leads into a trap. Getting greedy exiting the fast section will lead to overcooking the entry into the short slalom. The slalom is slower than the previous elements. Missing that change in tempo will lead to hitting cones or a DNF. Once I've made it safely into the slalom, I need to make sure I'm accelerating out of the slalom and thinking about the next element. There's speed to be found here, but only if I can trust my tires. It's very important to properly set my speed for the second sweeper. The entry into the second sweeper is pretty fast, but I'll probably be sliding the front tires, the rear tires, or all four tires to some degree on every run. The danger here is pushing wide, because that makes it harder to take advantage of the fact 
that the second sweeper is fast out. I need to run a line that doesn't add distance by going too wide, doesn't choke off speed by staying too tight, and allows me to accelerate out of the sweeper. Properly positioning the car at the exit is key, but I'll be accelerating into the final trap. If I nail the second sweeper, I'll come into the last elements with a good head of steam. But there's a tight window between these two elements. Being late with my steering inputs will lead to hitting a cone or making a sharp steering input that can easily cause a spin in these conditions. The course isn't very complex. The challenge is being able to execute my attack strategy on tires that are going to feel different on each run. My first run wasn't fast, but all that sliding around put some heat in my tires. It's really hard to keep heat in the tires on a brisk day like this. Fortunately, I got some assistance with that. Cam C73 is also running 315 Rivals, and he let me use his homemade tire blankets to help keep heat in my tires between runs. After one run, my tires are nowhere near their optimal temperature. An even bigger problem is that my rear tires are much warmer than my front tires, which means I have more grip in the rear. That makes it easier to understeer. My second run provides a textbook example of what can happen when one end of the car has more grip than the other. My tires are set at 26 PSI for run number two. Estimated the amount of front grip. I got caught in the trap, center punched a cone, and carried it all the way to the finish line and beyond. A fellow autocrosser was kind enough to remove the cone from in front of my car. Run number two was a 48.329 plus one. I wasn't able to manage the difference in grip between the front and rear tires, and the car still had very little ability to attack. We put the tire blankets on until it was time to head back to the starting line. I'll still have to deal with a different level of grip in the front and the rear, but sliding the front tires 20 feet got them warm. With my tires set at 25 PSI, my third run was clean and kind of fast. It gave me a good sense of what I was working with. And most importantly, it got my tires hot enough to raise my aggression level a little in the fast sections. If I can increase my duration of acceleration without pushing or going sideways, I'll have a shot at winning. I've kept my tires at 25 PSI for my fourth run. Point zero eight three point six seven three seconds faster than my third run. I was able to attack the fast sections a little harder, and I avoided the traps. But I'm still chasing grip coming out of the 180 and in both sweepers. I'm also chasing my main competitor, who ran a 42.846 on his final run. I need to find speed 
and I know exactly where it's hiding. It's in the areas where my tires are struggling to stay stuck to the surface. I've kept my tires at 25 PSI for my final run of the 2022 season, and it has to be a good one. Point six six seven point four one six seconds faster. I was able to increase my duration of acceleration coming out of the 180 degree turn and into the fast elements ahead of the first sweeper. I was faster into and out of both sweepers and, despite sliding a bit in both, maintained a good enough line to attack the subsequent elements. I got everything I could out of my tires, and that just barely put me atop the Cam T podium. First place by 0.179 seconds. And while I wasn't concerned about raw time at this event, my 42.667 was 28th out of 80 drivers. Normally, I wouldn't be thrilled with that narrow margin of victory. But honestly, being able to find enough speed to win on this frigid figure eight felt fantastic. And I definitely would have lost if Cam C73 hadn't let me use his tire blankets. And that guy who pulled the cone out from in front of my car? Well, he also helped pull the tire blankets off my tires at the last possible second before I drove to the starting line, so I could stay focused on my runs. The autocross community is full of awesome people who are always willing to help. Most drivers would think autocrossing on a cold course on tires that need to be screaming hot would make for a bad day. But this was one of my favorite events of the season. Did this win earn me enough points to capture the 2022 Cam T season championship? I'll reveal how I did in this club and the other club I run with in my 2022 autocross season review.